What betrayal trauma feels like. Now, first, let's talk about before the trauma happens. You were all in. You were giving everything. You were taking care of household things, the kids. You were making love. You were trying to be present and available. And you were thinking everything was wonderful and everything was good. And you lived in this world where he was faithful or she was faithful. And then you get hit with the pornography addiction being exposed, the affair partner being exposed. And what do you feel? Shattered. You feel total shattered, not just emotionally, spiritually, financially, socially, uh, your past memories. What was that really like? Your future dreams shattered, your body shattered, you, your sexuality shattered, not feeling enough, crazy, uh, inadequate, all those feelings. Okay. And then there's all the feelings of doubt, which is a normal part of grieving. Okay. You were no way responsible for their behavior to cheat, to lie, to have secrets, to do pornography, whatever it was. But it's normal to feel this false guilt and shame because the perpetrator has caused this crime in your heart and in your life. And so then there's the feelings of out and out uh, convulsions and grieving and, 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 and depth crying and, and all of that. And then there's anger that gets, it can be out of control. It can be seen as sarcasm. It can be passive aggressive. It can be yelling and screaming. It can be literally going on binges of alcohol, drugs, or, or Facebook, or uh, food, or, or some kind of binging thing because you're feeling so out of control. Your whole world has been destabilized, okay? And you don't have immediate time to integrate all the complexities that this betrayal has brought into your heart and into your life. You probably feel overwhelmed. Sometimes you feel sad. Sometimes you feel depressed. Depression is normal. PTSD symptoms, the intrusive thoughts, the dreams, the wanting to isolate. You have so many feelings. But what do you do with all those? Because if he or she, if they cheated on you, they're probably not the mature person to be able to process all this pain. Now, I would recommend you get the Partner Betrayal Trauma book, validate your pain, get in a group with other women, or, or if you're a man, a man, a men's uh, uh, group, and process through your pain. You need people who understand you. If you're a woman, you need other women who you can say, do you know what I mean? And they know exactly what you mean. But they've had those up and down days just like you're having. And you might be good for days, maybe in a week or two at a time, and then it hits you again. And you feel confused. You feel like, why am I not moving through? So feelings of partner betrayal trauma are endless, okay? Sometimes you, you feel close, and then sometimes you feel hatred. Sometimes you feel disgust, and sometimes you feel empathy. Sometimes you have compassion, and sometimes you have none. So I want you to have permission to feel whatever you're feeling. Now, a good thing to do, get in a group, make those phone calls, do that. That's the best thing. If you need counseling, you know, call the number on your screen because we specialize in this. Anyone who uh, you would be connected to, if you call that number, has gone through at least 40 plus hours of training in six months with me on partner betrayal trauma. You know, and if you find a counselor who says they treat sex addiction, find out if they're certified in partner betrayal trauma, because if they're not, you might be wrongly blamed. But the other thing you can do is you can journal. Journal your feelings. Now, you might want to throw this away at some point, but journal your feelings and just let them out, okay? Another thing you can do is go for a walk, and just talk to God or talk to yourself and say, this is what I'm feeling today, this is what I'm feeling today, this is what I'm feeling today. Because if you're a woman, you still have to be a mom and you still have to take care of things. And, and if you're a man, you still got to go to work. And, and if you're a woman, you might go to work and be a mom and all that stuff. Okay, life doesn't stop because you've been betrayed. The only thing that stops is what was real for you, what was real in your past, what was real in your future, how secure you felt. That's over. Now you have to tread water and kind of build yourself back up. Now he can take a polygraph test to verify if he's staying away from her or, or, or if it's a, in another a, a situation. He can also take a, a polygraph to verify uh, pornography issues or chat rooms or whatever he or she's into. You do deserve 
to know the truth. That is one of your ways to stabilize. And if they refuse to do that, most likely they're still protecting their supply, whatever that supply is, whether it's uh, strippers, prostitutes, uh, pornography, chat rooms, you know, secret cell phones, or even intrigue addiction, where all they're, they're just into just checking people out and having these cute little conversations. Your trauma is legit. The feelings you're having are immense, complex, ongoing, and intrusive. You can't always control them. You are not going to be the happy-go-lucky, confident person you were before the trauma. You can work your way back to that. And I hope you feel validated because I've worked with over 5,000 women over 35 years. Your pain is real to me. I've seen it thousands of times. Your trauma, your gut-wrenching pain, your, your fears, your concerns, they're all legit. Have a place to process them so that you can begin your own healing. And your partner does not need to start healing for you to start healing. So love yourself enough have good self-care, but have a place where you can talk about what you're feeling. And if you've yet to subscribe to our channel, please do because there's so much help for you just there. And if you have a question for me, go ahead and put it in the box. We will get back to it as soon as possible. We want you to be able to recover as soon and as fast as possible from your betrayal.